morning, wonderful people of France. It is an honor to come your way this morning, Word of God. I want to share something with you that will blow your mind. When we read from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, the scripture talks about giving thanks to God in all circumstances. And the scripture reiterates that there is a will of God concerning our lives in that scripture. I try to walk with God and to unearth and to uncover why it actually is a command and the things God revealed to me are really mind boggling. And it is a privilege and an honor to share it with you this morning, wonderful people. Now, when you give thanks, we normally give thanks when something good happens to us or when something bad happens not. And I've come to realize that an attitude of gratitude in this life will always catapult one to an altitude of greatness in life. Because when we appreciate God in little things, he rewards us with great things. Now, I want us to look at some of the mysteries behind giving thanks. And I want to look at a scripture in Daniel chapter 6, the verse 10. And I read the Bible says that now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into the house and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before God as he did a full time. I want us to look at the key word that he prayed and gave thanks. When somebody prays, a person prays and prays, he prays about so many things. But you realize that all of them were not mentioned, but the Bible stressed or touched on the thanks that he gave. And I was trying to find out why from God. And God made me understand that there is a mystery he gave. You see, humans as we are, when we are asked to even lay our petition before God, we could ask for so many things on end. But God, in His own finite way, in His own mysterious way, has commissioned or tasked us to thank Him in all situations. And when we read the whole story in Daniel chapter 6, a decree was passed. And Daniel went against the because it was against the principles of his God, who is the Almighty God. People took offense. They plot, they plan, they, they wanted to eliminate him. But the spirit of excellence, and he was preferred amongst all of them. So they were planning evil against him. And there's this decree that was passed. Go against the king's rule, you will be thrown into the lion's den. And because Daniel had violated that rule, it's been made to be put into the lion's den. But here is what it As I just read, the Bible said when he entered his room, he opened the window towards Jerusalem and knelt down times, praying and giving thanks. After he has given thanks, it did not end there. He was taken to the lion's den door. When you have time to read the continuation scripture, you Daniel was taken and put into the lion's den. But here is where he was put into the lion's den. The mouth of the lions were shut that night. Because they were expecting that by daybreak, Daniel vowed Daniel and he would be no more. And so the king in early in the morning rose up and went to the den and called out 
and asked whether his God has been able to save him. And Daniel said, Hail the king, that the king should even live long. And God made me that Daniel was given the mouth of the lion shut. So he entered the den. They were expecting him to die, but it was the other way around. God shut the mouth of the lions and Daniel had life. And in my eyes to understand that whenever we thank God, the mouth of our adversaries are shut. We are in a constant battle in this world. Every day we are fighting. We are fighting with the enemy. You might not have eyes to see it. Things that happen in the night. You would want to ask, why did the king wake in the morning? It means he had passed the night. So he woke up to see whether the things that they were expecting to happen in the night had happened. But it's be to God, who is always on our case, that after Daniel gave thanks, his thanksgiving had the power to shut the mouth of his mysteries, to shut the mouth of his lions. And the king of kings, him in the day, Next person whom nobody could explain. But God of the sport was with Daniel, and the lions could not do. praise be to God. We must learn to put on the attitude of thanking God in every situation. You see, whenever you learn to thank God, you'll always be full. It takes thinkers to thank. Now, I want to ask you, wonderful people, this morning, if, if you to wake up this morning and you did not have life, would you have the cost to ask for your petition? Would you have the mouth to ask for that capital you want for the business? Would you have the mouth for that marriage? Would you have the mouth to ask God for whatever request it is at? And we don't even take it to heart when we wake up to give thanks for the life we are enjoying before we ask of other things. Some people refuse to thank just because their expectations have not been met. Some people wake up, they refuse thanks to God just because that perfection they haven't seen. But I tell you, people of God, that when you learn to thank God in every situation of your life, when you learn to thank God when you're resting in the morning, you put angels in charge, you commit God to work on your behalf. In fact, it provokes God. It gives him that feeling that indeed my child really acknowledges me and he, he or she knows that without me, he can do nothing. And when you do that, it provokes God. God on every aspect of it, to every situation that concerns you. And so I want to challenge people of God today that make it a habit to thank God every day. The next point I want us to look at when God was taking through this journey of thanksgiving was when in the Bible again, according to John 11 verse 14, the Bible said Lazarus had died. He had been buried for days before Jesus got there. In spite of every prayer Jesus prayed, I want you to listen to me, people of God, the mystery behind every thanks you give to God and what your thanksgiving is able, able to do. The Bible said when Jesus lifted up his hands to the heavens, he said, I thank you that whenever I call on you, you hear me. This is Jesus himself giving thanks in a situation that looked hopeless, in a situation that had no light, in a situation when every hope has been lost. Everybody had been buried for days. You can imagine the situation, the skin, the sand, the smell. A dead body buried for days. Of course, there will be no hope in that situation. 
Jesus had have prayed all kinds of prayers to his father. But when he lifted up his hands in that last, when he needed to bring back his life, Bible said he thanked his father. And I, I tried out from God. Why, in spite of all the prayers that Jesus might have prayed, calling for Lazarus from the dead, it was only the thanks he gave that was stressed. Hallelujah. There is something about giving thanks to God. And God understands that that thanks he gave provoked God into the supernatural realm to cause Lazarus to come back from death. Hallelujah. It means whenever we thank God, our thanksgiving has the power to provoke the resurrection power. Bible said after Jesus had done that, he called for Lazarus. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And the man who has died days, who has been buried, Cabro Sika by a came back from the dead to join the living. What power the reason given thanks. What power the reason your mouth to just appreciate God. What power the reason to see the mysteries, to unearth the mystery behind giving thanks. Dear people, if you would take it to heart to make thanksgiving your life, I believe that things will begin to happen in your life. Jesus gave thanks and after doing that, he called forth Lazarus and Lazarus came back from the dead. And God opened my eyes to understand that whenever you give thanks, every death situation in your life comes back to life, hallelujah. There is something about giving thanks, my people, that if you will learn to put on that attitude of thanking God in every situation, the mysteries behind giving thanks will begin to work for you like none other. And I want you to make it a point, to make it a habit from today, that if it is not in your diary, in your dictionary, not part of your life to give thanks to God in every situation from today. Learn to put on the attitude of thanking God when you come in the thank God. When you see sunrise, thank God because many other have for you to see the living day. These are just two of the modern points. Our next series I us to look at the rest of the points. What thanksgiving really does in your life as a child of God? These are just two of the mysteries behind giving thanks. My dear, by the time we are looking at giving thanks, you 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 will marvel. You will be shocked. You cannot live this wonderful life without giving thanks to your Creator, the one. One who giving you life, the one who breathed into your nostril that made you enjoy this life you're in. You can wake up sound and healthy and acknowledge the good God who has granted you this life. Even Jesus himself gave thanks. When you look at the story, even in, in, in the Bible, but where in Matthew, Jesus had to feed the multitude with small portion of fish and loaves. Bible said he gave thanks again. I don't to blow your mind. This is just another point we will look at in our next session. So, my God, if you are asked to lay down your petition as to what you want, as to what you want God to do for you, for you to see it before you give thanks, a whole diary will be given to you. You will never finish writing your petition, what you want. But when to put on the act of thanking God, believing God, that whatever your request is, whatever the petition you had, God is more than able. He is capable to provide. To then see the mighty hand of God moving in every area of your life 
fulfilling everything that your heart desires. Daniel and the mouth of his adversaries were shut. I see the mouth of your adversaries. I see the mouth of your enemies. I see the mouth of the people who are on your case, 247, who are saying that over their dead before you will make it, over their dead bodies before you move to your next level. But I see you rising now realizing the power the reason giving thanks to god and as you do that god will move in the supernatural dimension to fill the of your heart he will shut the mouth of all those who are constantly on your case trying to blessing your breakthrough your papers everything that you are requesting from god that that money you cannot pay that accommodation challenge when you learn to God, in His own mysterious, powerful way, He is in a supernatural dimension to cause people to become blessing to you. He will make life unbearable for you. All those who are always fighting your blessing to go down on hell, He will exchange the, 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 their things they are doing for your blessing. He will shut their mouths whenever they open their mouth to speak ill against you to wish your god will shut their mouth like he did for daniel and every decree of theirs that they will pass will turn into a thing for you and so i want you from today to realize the power there is in giving thanks you are alive today because protected you are alive today because god has good plans and purposes for your life you alive today because god is not finish with you there who is the devil who is the enemy to try to shut you to try to 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 put a dent to, to put you in, in an uncomfortable situation that will make you even even doubt your god but in the midst of your affliction in the midst of that challenge people of god learn to appreciate god learn to talk through it all learn to say god i thank you that i am alive alone is more than enough once you have been life, every blessing that there is for me today you will give to me every plan you have for me to come to pass every enemy working on my case lord you will shut their mouth learn to appreciate Appreciate God when you rise up every day. As you do that, my God, I see God rising in everything that looks hopeless in your life. That it can never come to pass. What if you are looking for? What situation is that in your life? Is it your marriage that is going down the drain? Is it your blood that is going down the drain? Is it your academics that you think you cannot pursue? With your health that is dwindling, I want you to believe God this morning with me. That you see daybreak when you rise up, put on the thinking cups and learn to thank God through your morning situation. And as you do, my God, every direction in your life, God will cause it to come back to life. Every situation that looks hopeless, anything that the enemy has touched in your life, every sickness arrow that they have shot towards you, as you know, every morning, every day of your life, you will see the mighty hand of God entering that and bringing to life every death situation in your life. Learn to thank God. Jesus gave thanks. Time will not permit us to delve into all the areas, but this morning I should take this seriously so that in our next session we will look at the continuation. I have said that a thanker learn to thank God in every situation. It takes people who thank God, it takes people who think to know that indeed this life I am enjoying, this end I am breathing. Some holds it. Somebody has power over it. And if God decides to take it, where will I be? What can I do? Is that not enough reason at all to thank God every day of our lives? If God should ask us to pay for the thing we breathe in, can we even afford the money to buy it? If he says for this 
this air we are breathing? Do we have enough to to pay for the oxygen we take in and give out carbon dioxide? We cannot. God. This God has always been there. He has always been there. So people of God, before you ask for your many before you ask for your petition, before you lay your, your things before God, before you ask him for that job business, that document, you see, the reason why when you go out, you don't see the hand of God in the things you do, in your way, in your home, because you have not appreciated God enough. The God who has given you life, the God who has brought you to this land, the God who Served and protected your life all these years. The God who has made it possible for you to even have a husband, to even have a job, you have not appreciated Him enough. Yet every day you want more. Now, let me ask you you don't have this life you are enjoying now, to even listen to the word of God through me, to get this guy. Will you to ask for money? If you wake up and your legs are crooked and you can't do anything, and you are broke, are lying in bed restless. Will you say you are going to school? Will you say you are going to the workplace? Will you say you are going to do this? You see, we need to learn to be active in the little things so that we will see the great things. And so, my people of God, if you have not taken it to heart to enough for all that he has done for you before you lay your next petition before god i want you to remember that go before father forgive me for all the good things you have done for all your benevolent acts in my life i have done you enough i have been an angry i haven't shown you enough appreciation probably that is why i haven't seen so father god from today according to your word in first thessalonians 5 18 i will appreciate you in all things once i have life i will learn to thank you before you even bless me with the next blessing i thank you for the air i'm breathing i thank you for everything learn to do this every day of your life not even because your pastor says so not because you know my princess is seated before you and asking you to do that if you don't have anything at all to thank God for, thank God. Learn to be appreciative in little things. We have become too selfish, always demanding. We want, we want, we want, we want. So much so that even when we don't have room to accommodate their asking for, we still want. My dear people of God, you take on your heart to thank God for all the things he has done for you, to thank God. God, for even seeing you through all the challenges. Someone has a headache, and that is the end of the person's life. Somebody just hit their feet against a stone, and that was it. Somebody felt drowsy, and that was the end of it. But for you, some of us have had headaches, he healed us. Some even coincidence, he saw us through. Some have stomach upset. He did not allow it to kill us. My God, he so preserved his mighty hands, his mighty wings covered us. He shielded us. He did not allow the sicknesses and disease to kill us. Some of us that we went through was just more than enough to send us to an early grave. But he said, my done my son i am not going to allow it your time is not up i am not going to give you up to the enemy for i will be with you i will stand by you just you are on my heart just because i love you and i value you and i have a plan for your life and you don't think that is enough for you to thank god today before you ask from morning before you think of asking god for any other thing learn to thank you it takes thinkers to thank. It takes people with wisdom to thank. It takes people who know that indeed there is no God apart from our God to thank Him through every situation. And I want to challenge you from today to thank God your situation has changed. As you learn to put on the attitude to thank God every moment of your life, to thank God in every situation. 
with what's happening in your life. People of God, bless morning. To even make time to listen to the word of God. Life never be the same. In our next episode, we will look at what Thanksgiving so does. We will look at other points. It says the things that happen, we will look at other people who thought and the mysteries they encountered. After that, we will look at how to actually thank God. Because when you learn to do something, you have to do it, do it and do it well. But until then, you wake up, learn to thank God in your clothes, learn to God with everything within you. Learn to thank God, especially from your spirit, with your heart, with everything within you. Thank God with it. Don't only wait till you see the things you have from God before you thank Him. Don't only wait till you see that thing that you have laid before God before you thank Him. I learned to thank Him through everything. When you wake up in the morning, before you lay to rest at night, thank, learn to put on an attitude of giving thanks, and your life will never be the same. Have you seen a country, US and Canada? They have set aside public holidays where they only give thanks. Is that amazing? That is why they will always remain blessed, no matter the, the evil that goes on, no matter things around them. God's mighty hand will still protect them. They have said a, a holiday only to observe to thank God for His health and have life. They thank God for the good harvest they enjoy, and they thank God for the help they enjoy. The country will always be blessed. Learn to thank God situation as you do that you will see the mighty hand of god in your life after all it is a commandment he says thank god in every situation of god if you love god you will keep his commandment if you love god you will do the things he asks you to do if, if you Lord, and you want to see his power at work in your life in every situation you will thank him from today then to Thank God in every situation for an attitude of gratitude will catapult you to an altitude of grace in your life so that your life cannot be predicted. Every day you will be on top, you will be above, and you will be rising, even in the midst of be thanking God. And as you do that, you provoke God to move on every side, in every life. You see the hand of God moving in every situation, defeating your enemies. May thanksgiving never depart from your lips from today when you write father lord i thank you when you wake up before you leave the house thank god before you lay your petition before god thank god anything you do learn to thank god and as you do that the mighty hand of god rising in every death situation in your life god will bring back to life every death situation in your life everything that impossible will become possible because our God is a God of impossibility making possible. So he will bring everything that has no life and make life come into it in the name of Jesus. And God from today, in every situation, God will cause the mouth of your adversaries to be sh when they open their mouth in their covenants. When they mention your name, the fire of God will meet them and shut their lips. When they mention your name, Name in their dark places in their coffins when they want to bow, go in the four person around you when they put you in the den, they will suppress it and, and break and destroy their works. Their works concerning you, every evil to not, they will not be able to penetrate you when they mention your name. The Bible said the king saw a four person. God the enemies of your life, God will shut the mouth of your adversary. He will not let them prevail over you. He will make you on top. He will make you super and you're the same. Learn to thank God. From, from to, learn to thank God in every situation that confronts you. Learn God and know that your God is faithful. From today, I should thank God you will encounter in his name. May your life be blessed. May your life never be the same. May you counter encounter God in your going out and your king, in your business field, in your home, in your marriage, in your academics, in your finances, in everything you do. As you begin to thank God, may you see God for you. 
People of God, you are blessed. You are favored in Jesus' name. And I pray that your life will never be the same. Amen.